Thanks to its aesthetic and political proposals, muralism became a renowned artistic movement back in the day. It was an international movement and had important figures in several countries. Mexican muralists were key to the movement's popularity. Muralism in Mexico took root after the institutional consolidation enacted between the years 1926 and 1933 by the Secretary of Public Education, Jose Vasconcelos. He placed art as one of the main pedagogical strategies for cultural dissemination and education across a country in the view of a plan for a modern, post-revolutionary state. To reach that goal, Vasconcelos united artists and intellectuals under the nationalist ideal of unity and Mexican identity. The strategy of the muralists was to create monumental paintings in public spaces filled with historical themes highlighting the ideals of justice, freedom, and human virtue. As such, muralism recovered an ancient tradition present in pre-Columbian cultures who had perfected their techniques of painting and low relief on the walls of buildings such as the ones of the Nahuatl and Mayan empires. The works of Mexican artists Orozco, Diego Rivera, and David Alfaro Siqueiros recount historical events through metaphors and pre-Columbian symbolisms combined with the national climate of the time looking for democracy and economic well-being for all citizens. While some muralists stuck to the aesthetics of costumbrismo, many were militants in diverse political groups and ideologies such as the popular socialist and communist movements of the time. That meant that while they shared a common aesthetic and ideological origin, as well as a common methodology, strive and experimentation were unique to each artist. We will now describe to you five murals that are vital to understanding the work of Orozco. La Cuatlicue, La Rueda, El Caballo Bicéfalo, El Látigo, and the central piece, El Hombre de Fuego. You can appreciate these murals and their details as you walk across a room while listening and learning more about them in the videos. We will begin with La Cuatlicue, located under the West Dome, right at the entrance. Please go to video number four.